This is Kirk with the Sidetrack. Today we're going to do a test on the A-Track system that's on this 2016 Forerunner Trail Edition. Now, A-Track is available on all models of Forerunners. SR5 Trail Edition, which is now the TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro, even the Limited. The only one it's not available on is the two-wheel drive Forerunner, which I don't know why you would get a two-wheel drive Forerunner, Forerunner, but be that as it may, uh, we're going to do a test. We're going to take a trail up and see if we can do it in four low. No goodies, no locker, no traction control, none of that. Just see if we can make the climb up in uh, four low. There's some off camber bits and some wheel lifts that, you know, it's going to be challenging. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Um, but as you can see, this is not a stock forerunner. Uh, this Forerunner has a Icon Vehicle Dynamics extended travel lift on it. It's got 33-inch Falcon mud terrain tires and some skid plating underneath. Really, it shouldn't matter though. I mean, even this is the same would go for a stock Forerunner, I believe, would make this climb. Okie dokie. We've got, what do we have? We've got four low, nothing else see if we can do this just gonna keep it in low first gear and we're just gonna crawl it see how it does Left foot braking, maybe. It just doesn't want to do it. So you can see that wasn't a very successful attempt just with the diffs open. So that's four low, no A track, no locker, nothing on. You can see where it's kind of got this cross axle axle situation going on where that the driver's side is stuffed way up and the passenger side over here is just barely making contact with the ground with an open differential that is the wheel that's going to spin the one that has the least amount of traction so i don't think we're going to complete this climb without a track at least we may not even complete it with a track but we'll give it a shot uh but yeah full along we'll go to the front or i mean even here you can just see how that wheel is stuffed uh, and then over here in the front we've got independent front suspension vehicles they don't have a lot of wheel travel especially when you lift them you limit the down travel that they have so that one you can tell you jump over here you can see where this tire has been spinning see where it's kind of rubbed away there and that one has been doing nothing so we're going to use a track now and see if we can get ourselves out a track button right there now you can see on the dash it's illuminated we're ready to rip perfect one. so you see how easy that was just a little tiny bit of wheel spin to let the computer kind of figure out what it needs to do. It's gonna to try to break the wheel that's spinning, but in order to do that, a wheel has to start spinning, and then it'll break that wheel, send the power to the other wheel, which has the grip, and it'll climb out. What a couple things people try to do when they're unexperienced is they try to overdrive a track or tra whatever traction control system they have, and they just mash it that pretty much shuts it down it's going to just not give you anything what you want to do is give it slow input of power 100 rpm at a time maybe 200 rpm at a time just allow it to spin if it starts spinning don't freak out and go ah oh, it's not working let it spin a little bit it will work and it will pull you out just as you saw it'll pull you out of the hole
go. Okay, I'm taking an A-track back off. We had to use A-track to get over that uh, section there. Just had to do it. Here we go. This other section is going to be difficult. A-track's off. But I've got a break over here that's going to be the uh, real, real test. Oh, it's a little bit of slipping. That, the bouncing, when it does that, that's bad news. So did you notice that front end when it started bouncing? That is bad. You do not want to do that with an IFS vehicle because the, you can shock load the CVs and that's when you start breaking CVs or breaking diffs. So traction control is really good about keeping that from happening because it doesn't allow it to spin and bounce so much. So whenever possible, don't look at A-Track as like a sissy thing. It is a tool, just like a locker is a tool, but it's a smart tool. So we're gonna get back in and try it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. This front end. Yeah. Okay. Does K mean yes? Yes. Okay. I think I am, so 